everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the bamboo bracelet. This was designed by buys underscore loom on Instagram and it's the same frontwards and backwards so it doesn't matter what side you wear it on but you know it's the same side so it doesn't really matter. But let me bring up her profile really quick. So this is buys underscore loom. And this is her profile. She has some really cool renditions and really cool original designs as well. So definitely make sure to check out her account, give her a follow, and of course give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. So now I'm going to teach you how to make this. You're going to need five bar pins or two looms set up like this. You're going to need a hook, a C-clip, and four colors of bands. Today for reference I'm going to show you what colors I used in this one. But I'm just going to do that as we go, so I don't waste your time. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start placing whichever bands you want to use for this um, navy blue in this one. So I'm going to be using gold. And you're going to start here at the beginning. And go out to the left. And out to the right. By the way, all of my supplies are from therainbowloom.com. Today, at least. <laughs> Okay, now take your next color, which is going to be the turquoise. You're going to be alternating colors every time as we go up. I'm using silver, metallic silver. And you're just going to go to the very outside. Push down your bands. Now grab your gold again. Go to the inside. Then your silver again. My bands are sticking together. Go back to the outside. Grab your gold to the inside and you're just going to do sorry two zigzags all the way until you reach the end of your loom so I'm going to keep doing that And I'll show you what you do as you get to the end because it's a little bit different than what you would normally do. So you're going to do your zigzags all the way until you reach the second to last peg on both sides, just so you know. I'm going too slow for you. Okay, once you get to this, again, you're going to go back to the outside, so that you're, you're at the second to last peg here. Now, take another set of gold and go up into here. Then, take your last set of silver and go down into the center, like this. So you're going to leave these two pegs blank up here. And now come back to the beginning of your loom. We're going to be placing the single chains now in this bracelet. It is white and I'll be using white as well today. So all you have to do is do two single chains running from the bottom to the top of your loom. It's very quick and very simple, but it does pretty much it does show pretty well in this bracelet, so make sure you use a color that you like. back to the beginning and repeat on the other side. Mm 
Once you reach that, you're going to put all of your single chain bands aside and take your last color, which is going to be the pink in this bracelet. I am using lime green jelly, so come back to the beginning of your loom. And you're going to first place the band forward, then take two more bands and go down to the left and down to the right. Make sure that your bands are pushed down. Then you're going to go up to the left, up to the right, and straight forward. After you do that, you're going to pretend like this band that you went straight forward is the same as this. So you're going to, from this peg, go down to the left and down to the right. Then again, up to the left, up to the right, and straight again. Once you go straight, that's your kind of cue to go down into that arrow shape again. And then up, forming an X. That band was kind of malformed. It's all stuck together. And then once you do your X, you go straight forward. And repeat this process all the way down your loop. And as always, make sure that you are pushing your bands down. Oops. Also make sure your bands don't overlap. When you go straight up until you reach the end of the loom, you're again going to go just down to the left and down to the right. You're not going to do anything else. Now what you're going to do is place your capping band on this peg. Since the silver is this um, band closest to here, I'm going to use gold as my cap band. So capping it off with gold, if I can actually get it to stop slipping out of my fingers. Okay. Turn your loom around so the arrows are pointing towards you, and now get your hook and we're going to start the looping. So first what you want to do is go underneath of the cap band, grab the top band, pull it out to itself, go back in, grab the next top band, pull it out to itself, and the next top band, pull it up. Then go inside of the peg that you just went straight up on, grab the top band, pull it down to itself. Grab the next top band, pull it down to itself, then in here, grab this band, pull it up, this band, pull it up, and this band, pull straight. So you're just going underneath of the bands that are on these center pegs and pulling them out to themselves. So you're going to do that all the way down the loom for all of your center or lime green jelly bands. You may want to push down your bands after you loop part of it, just so that you have room to loop the next part.
if your bands are twisted, just try to untwist them before you loop. Because it's easier to untwist them while you're looping than it is after you take your bracelet off the loop. And last one will just go straight up. Then, once you do that, push your bands down. Come back to the beginning of your loom. Go underneath the cap band, grab the border band, pull it down to itself. Grab the next border band, pull it down to itself. Then go inside, grab that white band, pull it up. Go in, grab the white band, and pull it up. It'll only pull this one part of the border band. Then go inside of this peg, grab the white, pull it straight up. This peg, pull the white straight up. And you're just looping the single chain to itself all the way down the loop. sure that your bands are in order when you loop it. Okay, once you reach the top, you're going to want to push these bands down. Come back to here. Pull it up. And again, push these bands down. Come back to the beginning and go inside of this peg here. Grab that border band and pull it out. Grab this border band and pull it out. Then go inside of here. Grab the next border band and go in. And you're going to loop them in just a regular zigzag. This next peg is harder because the bands are all tense right here, but you're just going to go all the way to the bottom. Grab the band and pull it out. And I'm going to be taking these zigzags off as I kind of go down the loom. And you're going to do this all the way up your loom. Just be careful to not let your bands break especially if you're using silicone ones like I am. If it's tight, it will break. Once you get to the top, grab the silver, pull it in, and grab the gold and pull it into the very top. Come back to the beginning and do this again on the other side. These gold bands for me get really stressed out, so if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't use these um, gold silicone for this part. The silver is okay, just not the gold.
Try not to get them twisted, but if they get twisted, they're pretty easy to undo when you take it off. Once you reach here, again, just pull them into the top center. Then grab an extension band. I'm using silver since my last one is gold. I'm going to just grab this. It's pretty easy to pull off, just the two side pegs should be the more difficult ones. Okay, so this is what mine will look like, and if your bands are twisted, like here, you can just easily untwist them. They'll come untwisted really easily. There's hair on here too. <laughs> Alright, so that's all for this video. You can always um, pull these out too. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to follow Bye Sloom on Instagram. I'll have her name in the description box below if you did not catch it. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope to see you next time.